Well, good afternoon. I hope you are enjoying your Tuesday lunchtime. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And we are coming to you with our lunchtime on the mountain. This is our lunchtime with Jesus. And today we are in Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 through 20. And Tyler, if you don't mind reading those. I can. Do not think that I came to destroy the law or the prophets. I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For assuredly I say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law until all is fulfilled. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches men so, shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teaches them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say to you that unless your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, you will by no means enter the kingdom of heaven. All right. You know, as we look at this, people, uh, certain groups that say that we're supposed to keep the Sabbath or we're supposed to keep the dietary laws, etc., etc., they say, see, Jesus said nothing about the law was ever going to be done away with. No, no, no. He said to it till it's fulfilled. And part of what Jesus is talking about, the fulfillment and the completion of the law, the law had a time limit on it, and I want you to, you know, if you have time, turn to Deuteronomy 18, otherwise just mark the reference. Deuteronomy 18, 15 says, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your midst, from your brethren. Him you shall hear. Now, interesting, Moses, in the law, says someone is coming that has to be heard even more than the law. <clears throat> According to all that you desired of the Lord your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let us not hear again the voice of the Lord our God, nor let us see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord God said to me, What they've spoken is good. Now that doesn't mean God necessarily, God was like, fine. That's, that's, that's what that really translates as. God was like, fine. If they don't want to listen to me, they don't want to come near me, fine, I'll give everything to you, Moses. It's, it's fine. We just we aren't going to pick that fight today. And here's what else God says, though. He says, I will raise up for them a prophet like from you among their brethren, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command them. And it shall be that whoever will not hear my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of the gods, that prophet shall die. And so <clears throat> that passage there, and that passage is quoted by the Apostle Peter in Acts chapter 3, uh, that Jesus is the fulfillment of it. And so when Jesus says, I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill, Jesus coming is the completion of what Moses said, that there's one coming after me that you need to listen to closer than me. And uh, Jesus is that one. Because verse 18, I surely say to you, till heaven and earth pass away, one jot or one tittle will by no means pass from the law till all is fulfilled. And the apostle Paul writing to the Corinthians will say, And in Christ Jesus, all the promises of God are yes and amen. You say, what's the reference? I've given you the verse. Feel free to find the reference. Um, <clears throat> but the simple fact is that Jesus Christ in fulfilling the law, and it will continue all the way to the cross, that's what Ephesians chapter 2 and Colossians chapter 2 uh, remind us of is that Jesus Christ will nail the law to the cross and he will be the fulfillment and the completion of it and then he will take the law out of the way and it will no longer be a wall of separation between Jew and Gentile but the thing I want you to understand right now today is this that the law and the prophets their fulfillment is in the person of Jesus. And uh, tomorrow we will break down a little bit more verses 18 through 20. But don't let fancy words from people who want to go to church services on Saturday morning 
keep you from understanding the point here. And that is that Jesus, because Jesus is fixing to start saying, you've heard it said, but I say. Jesus is going to literally fulfill what Moses said. You're supposed to listen to me, but when he comes, you have to listen to him. He's greater than me, and his words will carry even more weight. And so you can't take the things that Jesus said and place them under the law when the law itself says that Jesus' words supersede because they are the fulfillment and the ultimate realization of everything the law was about. Tyler, do you have any thoughts on this? Outside of then Jesus still having the same problem that um, the law ended up having with the people of Israel because even though they heard it and they knew it and they understood this is what they're supposed to do, they still completely ignored it whenever it suited their fancy. Wow, that sounds like some churches today. <gasps> You're right. And some people in some churches today. <sighs> but with that thought, we bid you a happy lunchtime eating your salad or whatever it is you might be eating today. And uh, go in the blessing of the Lord and have a what? Blessed day. Or a good afternoon. Cut to. Either one. <laughs>